when we think of air-to-air -air missiles, especially short-range ones, the first names that likely come to mind are the American-made A9 Sidewinder or the Russian R-73. What's interesting is that the West often highlights and prioritizes their weapons in all situations. Agree? However, we should not forget that some of the world's top weapon manufacturers are also based in Europe. Relying only on Western weapons is not always the best idea, especially when Europe has its state-of-the-art creations such as the Eurofighter Typhoon. That is why companies like Deal Defense from Germany, Evio SPA and Leonardo SPA from Italy, Saab AB from Sweden, Paracle Industries from Greece, the Norwegian Finnish defense group Nemo and Litton Italia came together to create a modern air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missile system. Their goal was to replace the Western A9 Sidewinder. The idea is simple. Any fighter jet that can fire the Sidewinder should also be able to use European missiles. Introducing the state-of-the-art advanced Iris T air-to-air -air missile. A collaborative effort among Germany, Greece, Norway, Italy, Spain and Sweden. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, it excels in all weather conditions and offers exceptional maneuverability, enabling it to engage even the most agile targets equipped with advanced countermeasures. Jain Dosto, this is Prajesh and you are most welcome to APRA. Here we go. Developed and produced by its member nations and currently in service in several countries, the IRST is a FOX-2 category missile known for its incredible maneuverability and all aspect air-to-air -air capabilities. It is equipped with an advanced infrared seeker and designed to engage targets from point blank range up to its maximum range. Additionally, the IVST can successfully engage targets behind the launching aircraft and be used in both lock on before and after launch operations. This allows the missile to track and engage targets in all weather conditions, day or night. Additionally, the missile features a thrust vector control system providing superior maneuverability and agility in flight enabling it to engage highly maneuverable targets. In August 1980, the USA, the UK, Germany and France signed a MOU which is a Memorandum of Understanding to develop two air-to-air -air missiles to replace existing ones. The USA would develop the AMRAM to replace the AIM-7 Sparrow, while Europe would work on the ASHRAM to replace the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Although NATO countries agreed on developing a more advanced short-range air-to-air missile, however, it did not align with their industrial interest. As the European industrial base eroded, the United States proposed using an upgraded Sidewinder with better maneuverability and infrared counter-countermeasure in short IRCCM. Provided Europe increased the US industrial share. However, this upgrade proposal failed to attract major NATO buyers as internal discussions revealed financial and defense industrial share issues were the real concerns. Overall, in 1990, 
Germany withdraw from the ashram project. Subsequently, the United States also moved away from the ashram program in 1996, leading the UK to continue development independently. The UK began redefining the ashram to meet the RAF specific needs according to the regional ranger requirements. By 1992, the missile development program had diverged. The UK continued with the ashram. France began developing the Mika. The United States focused on the AIM-9X and Germany chose to restart development on its own design. In 1995, Germany began iris development with Greece, Italy, Norway, Sweden and Canada. By 1997, Germany held a 0.6% share with Italy at 20%, Sweden 18%, Greece 8%, Canada 4% and Norway 3%. Canada later withdrew and Spain joined in 2003. The German Air Force received its first missile in 2005. As of 2023, over 5,000 missiles have been produced according to Deal Defense. The IRST missile outperforms the AIM-9M Sidewinder regarding flare suppressions and electronic countermeasure resistance. Notably, the head-on firing range has been increased by 5 to 8 times compared to the AIM-9M. All thanks to its considerable advances in target identification technology. The amazing missile's capacity to make rotations of up to 60 G at a speed of 60 degree per second enables it to engage targets that are behind the launching aircraft made possible by thrust vectoring and lock-on of the launch in short LOAL capabilities. Okay, let's repeat it again. Versatile interception capabilities. The IUST can intercept any aircraft as well as quick moving and small targets like the UAVs, drones, as well as air-to-air, surface-to-air and surface-to-surface missiles rockets and cruise missiles it features an impact and active radar proximity fuse to enhance the likelihood of a direct heat infrared imaging seeker despite recent countermeasures the imaging infrared seeker provides exceptionally high resolution target discrimination and flare suppression it supports all aspects of the missile's operation and has an acquisition range compatible with the missile's entire kinetic range. Thrust Vector Control The IOST missile incorporates a thrust vector control system that enhances its maneuverability and agility during flight. The Iris T has a unique ability, unlike similar missiles like the AIM 9X, to target and shoot down air to air and surface to air missiles, providing 360 degree defense. The surface launch variants, which is Iris T SLS and SLM, can destroy aircraft, helicopters cruise missiles, any ship missiles, and large caliber rockets with a high probability of hitting UAVs and small maneuvering threats at short and medium ranges. Iris T SLS, which is a surface launch standard, is an air defense system that uses the Iris T air-to-air -air missile with minor software modifications. However, its operational range is 12 km with a ceiling of 6 to 8 km. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2 and an average speed of 400 meters per second. 
Iris T SLM, which is a surface launched missile, is a medium range air defense system with a 40 kilometer range and 20 kilometer altitude. It features a pointed nose with a jettisonable drag reducing cone. The missile uses GPS aided inertial navigation with radar command guidance and its interference resistant IR seeker activates in the terminal phase. A third variant, the Iris T SLX, designed for long range engagements, is under development as of June 2024. It will feature a dual mode seeker IR and RF with an 80 km range and a maximum altitude of 30 km. Weight 87.4 kg, length 9.6 feet, diameter 5 inch, wingspan 17.6 inch, warhead high explosive fragmentation warhead, detonation, active radar proximity fuse and impact as well, engine solid fuel rocket motor range 25 km speed Mach 3 guidance infrared homing the cost per unit ranges from 250,000 euros to 400,000 euros for an air-to-air -air missile variant launch platform the Iris T missile can be launched from a variety of platforms such as the Eurofighter Typhoon, F-16 Fighting Falcon, Tornado, Sub Gripen and the AP-18 Hornet, KF-21 Borane as well as the Alenior Armachi M346 Master. Iris T air-to-air -air missile Block 2 Recently, in June 2024, Deal Defense announced the development of an upgraded Iris-T air-to-air missile featuring an advanced seeker, improved electronics and data link capability. Iris-T FCAM air-to-air missile. Deal Defense is currently developing a sixth generation short-range air-to-air missile referred to as the Future Combat Air-to-Air -air Missile, in short, FCAM. This advanced missile is being engineered to serve as a key weapon for the European Future Combat Air System. Iris D High Def, Europe's first coordinated effort to tackle hypersonic missile threats. The High Def initiative involved 13 companies from 7 European countries working together on advanced missile defense technologies. There is another piece of content on state-of-the-art air-to-air missiles on the way. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you again in a few days. Take care and goodbye.